What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test five more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget I got pretty cool egg holder. Check this out. Whoa. Will it crack it when it hit to each other? No. This is pretty satisfying. You know, it's probably perfect if you have your own eggs. I mean, if you have your own chickens, this is perfect. I get 10 chickens a day, I mean nine. And I fill up so quickly, so I can just place them here and put them in the refrigerator. It will look pretty cool, but it does kinda takes up way more space than a carton. But it, look, will hold up quite a few eggs. I think the most satisfying thing when you drop the egg and it rolls like that. Looks like it rolls and does not crush. That one went a bit faster. Okay. Wow, no way. It takes two cartons of egg almost. Like, look at that. 21 eggs hold up, no problem. Again, this is a large eggs. So imagine the small eggs, even more eggs. It looks beautiful in the refrigerator. I like it. And if you wanna pull out a bunch of eggs, you grab it, carry it, awesome. I have a chicken coop. I can take this to the chicken coop, fill it up with eggs, take it home. Amazing. I mean, it's also kind of cool because you don't have to take out the whole carton. You can just take out one egg at a time. It's not all in properly. This eggs are a little bit too big. But it makes sense, right? For the smaller eggs, it will work really good. For the next gadget, I got here a mixer. Whoops. Looks like I'm supposed to hold it like this. That looks like it's going to rip up a bunch of stuff really quickly. You know what? I need to make a waffle dough for the next gadget. Let's see how well it's going to mix it up and fast. Two cups of waffle mix. There you go. You know what? I'm kind of worried if this is not going to be big enough. We'll find out. Two tablespoons of oil. One, two, and one egg. So we're using today all the gadgets. And now let's see how well it's going to mix it up. Whoa, it's thick. Whoa, no way. It makes it so fast. Look at that. 10 seconds in that. It's already look like a dough. Obviously need to go a lot more. Much, much harder to spin it now that I have added quite a bit of stuff in there. And this is a really, really thick dough. This is a good test right now. Okay, let's lift it. Wow! What? 30 seconds, one minute. It's gonna be so well mixed up. I'm keeping this gadget. This is amazing. Couple of spins. Set. Okay, now that I have mixed the dough, look how well it looks. Oops, there you go. It looks done. Just one minute, it mixed it up so well. I could probably take this off, hold it upside down, put it down so it does not make any mess. I can wash it off later, probably hand wash. Now I have this bowl to make a bunch of waffles. But I also have an amazing keyboard waffle iron. Let's see what this thing is about. This thing looks so cool. Puppy would not stop drinking water. He's thirsty. That's kind of cute. Okay, this thing used to be really expensive. Now they finally is much cheaper now. I paid $80. I mean, still very expensive, but it used to be over $150. Let's see what they look like. So keyboard, waffle iron. This is actual metal. Feels like it's magnetic too. There's gotta be some kind of magnet holding everything together. Okay, let's warm it up, put it on the stove, and let's see how well will it do the waffle. Okay, I have preheated it. My oven is not big enough, probably would be nice to do it on the oven. Whoops, I put a bit of oil, and looks like, I don't know. Will it be big enough? 
hopefully <laughs> it's probably gonna expand like crazy oh well let's see close it make a bit of mess not a big deal let's keep it there see what happens learning process made a little bit of a mess came out a little bit I cleaned it up but yeah just easy to flip it and stuff and let's see what happens in a minute I'll tell you what electric oven is not fun to cook on it smells so bad I'm so used to my gas I would never get rid of my gas oven ever because that electric oven is so slow okay let's see what happens it's smoking on me oh my gosh I don't know what I did on but waffle iron is total fail uh, let me know in the comments below what happened it's definitely did not work and now it's not gonna be fun to fix it either okay let's check how it's doing that's the second time I already doing this first time I did spray it with the oil but it just does not stay together it gets stuck inside of it way too much so I don't know guys it does not work for me that well it just tears each other apart good idea cool idea but as you can see it's total fail for the next gadget I got here pretty unique cutting board over here let's see what's all about this probably can come off this is just an advertisement yeah there you go then right here you can use any kind of knife by placing it in a corner higher or lower and then just locking it and that way you can chop it you know what I think I'm gonna try to do it as low as possible like this there you go let's say I need to chop a bunch of celery bite size I think the other thing is cool this side here goes up and down right here a bit too so I can even go to the side like that that was awesome first time using it and then you can carry it all you see how it won't fall this is nice so let's try this again with another piece of celery doesn't cut all the way that's the only problem would I use this gadget honestly not at all let's try this again it's not really making it faster if anything you have more limitations in my opinion okay this is kind of fun you can just chop it up and down but let's try this without this knife tip. just go like this so in a sense it's actually the same thing you're doing except now your corner is connected to this thing so do I need it? Probably not. Just go up and down like that. No problem. Look at that. Lots of celery at the same time. Same thing. Except I don't need that piece. I think I'm gonna pass on this gadget. And for the last gadget I got here stoneware butter keeper. Let's see how this works. Butter stays fresh, soft and sweet for up to 30 days without refrigeration. So that's an amazing gadget. Let me show you how this works. It's a little cup. I think you put a little bit of water inside here. Just grab the butter. Try to put soft butter in. Looks like mine is a bit uh, rough. You can soften it up. But makes sense, right? You wanna place it like that. Your butter will look like this. Then you put a little bit of a cold water in there and just place it over like that. And I guess it will keep it very fresh inside that stone glass. Whenever you need butter, all you have to do is lift it up, put it upside down. You could use a knife, whatever, put on your toast and then put it back in. And you don't have to go in your refrigerator and wait for it to be defrosted and stuff like that. This is a very unique gadget and it's been used for I think over 50 years or so. I'm pretty sure it's an English thing. Let me know in comments below where it's originated. And also I'm not sure how much water you're supposed to pour. It just says pour cold water into the base of the clock. So something like that. 
boom this is very very interesting gadget i bet it's going to work for 30 days fresh bar on your dining room table amazing well guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below what do you think about this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time